Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman. And in this series, we are, will go back to where it all started. And this time round, we will focus on completing as many of the challenges as we can on each and every one of the primary Hitman targets, with maybe a few interesting bonus kills on the way. Today we are in Santa Fortuna for a strong foundation challenge which entails killing Andrea Martinez with a cement mixer. Now unfortunately you will not be getting a silent assassin rating if you follow this path. I still haven't quite figured out how to get past one guy. So for this challenge we will be starting at the Shaman's Hut and the only thing we need is our Silence Pistol. So let's get reacquainted with our target. Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. So, right from the start and off the bat, we require the shaman's outfit first of all. So we're going to exit our nice comfortable cushion there, make our way into the bushes by the big tree where we will find one of numerous egmatic flowers. Uh, there are a, a few dotted about the place, but once we have our poisonous flower, all we need to do now is wait for the cauldron over the fire to become available and eventually after a short conversation the shaman as you can see will wander off looking for new flowers and the chicken gentleman who is afraid to taste the broth uh, fundamentally tastes the broth but uh, he, as you can see, gets slightly glitched and once he finishes he should just immediately move away but he doesn't always do that. So what we're going to do is stand right next to the cauldron here and the second he moves away we can then add our flower just before the shaman returns to sample his broth once again. And while he's doing that, we're going to make our way around to the side of his hut here, where there is a poisonous frog, a nice looking pond, and an outhouse. And we're going to wait right here for the shaman to taste his broth. He will then get sick and make his way to the outhouse, where we can then render him unconscious. There you go, have a nap. We're going to hide his body in the crate provided, although you don't really have to, I don't think he's found there. And we're going to take his outfit. Now from here we're going to do a, a bit of setup. So we're going to exit the jungle area and we're going to make our way into the village. And we are going to have a conversation with Andrea Martinez. So we're going to head directly to her compound. We are allowed inside, but we will not enter because there is a camera just inside the gate. So we don't want to go inside. We're just going to wait outside. Now, thankfully for us, just as we arrive, she is exiting the building. So we will approach her and she will initiate a conversation between the two of us. Up, the famous shaman decides to show up after all. I'm pleased to finally put a face to the myth. I was beginning to think you didn't exist, what with your not replying to any of my inquiries. I've been looking forward to meeting you, Miss Martinez. All right, I need you to get over to the construction site on the outskirts of the village. The workers there uncovered a pile of old bones and they've taken the opportunity to grab some undeserved recreational time. I need you to go over there as soon as possible and wave your magic wand or do an interpretive dance or whatever it is you do. I can do that. You can walk with me if you don't know the way. Otherwise, I'll see you there. Just don't take too long. I'm an important person. Untouched by human. Very well. So at this point we can make our way to the construction site. We're going to run ahead of Andrea because there is a couple of things we need to do. 
first and foremost of which will be to lose our silent assassin rating now i have in all the years that this game has been available with this particular challenge never been able to get this guy you can see just bow in there to get out of the way he doesn't respond to uh, distractions very well uh, the only way really to get rid of him or to achieve the challenge is to either get spotted by him or as you can see take him out so what we've done is we've run straight around to the porter cabins using the cabins for cover and we've shot him in the head we're then going to hide in the dumpster provided for all of the panic to calm down and as you can see by this point Andrea has arrived we're just going to wait for the guard there to lose his enforcer status before we approach the foreman we need to speak to the foreman to trigger the next scene and events you have been sorry mister happy to be here so uh, here's the problem we're digging some holes for the foundation but now we come across these well bones i guess turns out they're human and the workers seem to think they're part of some old grave. Sounds likely. Yeah. So now, they're on strike. Won't work until the site is cleansed. But this is where you come in, no? You think you can, you can help us out? I'll do my best. Excelente. So once we have spoken to the foreman, we can approach the pit where Andrea is waiting. We're going to stand on this pallet right here. And the foreman will gather the workers and we can perform the ritual. So the foreman has called all the workers together. They are now gathering on the far side of the pit from me. And once they're in place, we can begin. All right, Taita, the sage is all yours. Cleanse away. Maestro, wonderful. He floats angelic, untouched by human. Maestro, is it done? The site is clean now. So at this point Andrea and the foreman are going to give a quick motivational speech to the workers before sending them back to work and then the foreman will give Andrea a short tour of the construction site and in the meantime we are going to approach the cement mixer here and the control panel and the gentleman we shot earlier would be stood just to our right literally just to our right looking directly at us and as i said he doesn't respond to distractions or anything else even if you make him sick he gets in the way so once all the workers are going back to work the only person we now need to worry about is the foreman so once andrea steps in front of that little red pipe you can see just over my shoulder there we're going to wait for the foreman to turn the corner before we start the machine. And as soon as he does, we can start up the machine and kill Andrea. All targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, Wilson. Now head for an exit. So that will get you the A Strong Foundation Challenge. But as I said, I have yet to find a way to get around that one... A construction worker to gain the silent assassin rating so all that's left to do is to make our way to the nearest exit which will be the boat exit so there we go that is a strong foundation challenge i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video